Let's move on now. Now, in retaliation to car manufacturing giant Renault's decision to cut jobs, protests have erupted across France. Thousands of people gathered in front of the Renault plant in Maubeuge. The plant has been shut since Friday when the company announced its decision to cut 15,000 jobs worldwide. 4,600 of these job cuts will be in France alone. The car manufacturing firm has been hit by a plunge in sales as a fallout of the COVID-19 pandemic. Renault has started talks with several unions to restructure several car manufacturing plants within France, which will lead to permanent closures and job losses. Renault is aiming to go for $2.2 billion in savings over the next three years. This will be done as the company shrinks its production capacity by abandoning key car models. And by the year 2024, Renault plans to trim its global production capacity to 3.3 million. Currently, the production capacity stands at 4 million. The French state owns a 15% share in Renault. And the company has been in talks with the French government for getting a loan worth around $5.5 billion. The government has refused to sign off the loan until the Renault management and unions conclude their talks over jobs and factories in France. Renault's alliance partner Nissan has also announced a major job cut. The Japanese car maker is looking to cut more than 20,000 jobs. And this is about 15% of Nissan's global workforce. The company is considering a major reduction across Europe and also a realignment of its output bases in Japan. This would be Nissan's most drastic job reduction since the year 1999 after it was pulled back from bankruptcy. Nissan's sales figures have dropped globally due to the pandemic and its result has been a huge economic slowdown.